Let's look at another one. We have x is equal to tangent squared theta, and then the other equation is y equal to secant theta. And I want to take this into the Cartesian equation. So I want to combine these two equations to just get one equation in terms of x and y. Tangent squared theta and secant theta, they kind of are related, right? Let me show you how we can do that. We first know a famous trig identity. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, we know this is equal to 1, right? And then the usual deal is, let's take this and then divide everything by cosine squared theta. And we can prove a trig identity by doing so. So, you see that when we do this, this is going to give us tangent squared theta. And you see this is going to give us what? The x, isn't it? Anyways, right here, this is going to be plus 1. And then this is going to give us 1 over cosine squared theta, namely secant squared theta. We know this is the identity. And we know this right here is what x is. So we can put this down for x. We have x plus 1 is just a 1 equals to secant squared theta theta. But then if you look at the information that we have, we know why it's equal to secant theta. I want to produce secant squared theta. So what can we do? Well, very easy. We square both sides. You see y squared, that will give us secant squared theta. So we can just plug in this into there. y squared. x plus 1 is equal to y squared. This is going to give you a sideway parabola. Anyways, this will be the answer for this Cartesian equation. That's it.